Well, happy Monday to you all. Good morning. It's morning here where I am, and I am Clarice Myers. I'm a spiritual entrepreneur, and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I come and share just something with you to pick you up, get your day started. And this morning, um, yeah, let me just say, first of all, I am on a journey. Each one of you are on your own personal journey. And what we do on our journey determines the success that we we have good morning to you Sips. good morning to you so um I was over the weekend I, I had an opportunity to go to the sustain uh, sustain the change conference uh, it was wonderful they had lots of uh, um, speakers there I mean very motivational uh, for young people who are uh, who are trying to decide what they want to do with their lives and just giving good direction Good morning, good morning, see Charles. I think I see you, Charles. Good morning to you. I can wave to you. So this morning, I thought, you know, we are all already programmed for success because the Creator, He created us to be creators. Not in the sense that you know, like He can create the world and all that, but we can determine what our lives will be. So it depends on what you put in. You know what what you put in to you will, will come back in fact I saw this quote um, I don't know who I think it's well, anonymous the quote is and I made a little poster of it because I thought it was just so beautiful be a reflection of what you'd like to receive if you want love give love if you want truth give or be truthful if you want respect give respect what you give out will return to you. So the bottom line is what you put into yourself. So here I have three little tips to help you remember that every day you should be putting certain things into your, your life. And I call it a diet. You may have heard that expression. And it's not just referring to what the foods you eat, you know, uh, the thoughts that you have, uh, the people you surround yourself with the books you read, who you listen to, that that is very important because if you don't surround yourself with those things or have that healthy diet every day, um, it's harder for you to achieve or reach your fullest potential because there's each one of us, if we're still alive, there's some unfinished work that we have to do uh, on ourselves, you know. We can't change anybody else. We can only work on ourselves. And so the first thing is the law of attraction. You've heard that expression. You attract uh, the things that you want into your life depending on your mindset. So you have to get the mind right. The mind is, <laughs> you ever heard that expression? The mind is a terrible thing to waste. Good morning, Ursula. Good morning. Glad that you can join me this morning. Yes. Good morning, Maria. Good morning hello to you yes so the law of attraction I mean it's real we can't just say oh well that's just a made-up thing what you think about you bring about so it's up to you nobody else can do it for you it's not going to happen to you because of somebody else the journey is ours and we have to chart our path so to speak all right so um, a lot of times what hinders us is our limiting the belief. That doubt comes into play. And then, you know, when you start doubting and you keep thinking about that doubt, oh, I can't, I can't do this. Well, you're right. You're not going to be able to do it. So put the positives in. Secondly, um, you need to change your environment. There's, a, there's an expression. If you're the smartest person in your group, you need to find another group. Because granted, none of us knows everything. So we have to be in a circle with people who are more knowledgeable than us. Because that's how you can grow. If you, when was it? Um, last week? No. Was, yeah, well, when I was visiting with my sister, I went to the um, museum, the botanical gardens. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm a nature lover. And I was surprised to see that there, there, um, were little ficus trees you know they're 
they were so small in a little pot and they look so cute there but those little ficus trees will stay small because of the pot that they're in but then when I went into the the, um, the botanical gardens you know there's a big old dome there was a huge ficus tree you know how the roots just grow down from the branches I was amazed to see that there is that size tree so we can only grow according to our surroundings we're the same way like those plants if the plant has lots of room it will continue to grow and get bigger but if there's not a lot of room it'll just stay there so we have to surround ourselves with those who are more knowledgeable and you might say oh I don't know anybody like that well guess what we're living in the age of technology there there are this YouTube or you can learn so much on YouTube um, there are books of written by you know people who have charted their path I mean we have our own lives to live but we can look and see the things that they've done and implement the things that work positive things tell ourselves positive things all right that was number two change your environment and number three uh, what was number three one two okay that attitude we have to have that positive attitude you think about it you tell yourself yes I can do this you know this is not hard it's easy you have to affirm yourself um, feed yourself those positives every day so those are three main things that will help you on your journey now I also heard this this expression um, and it's written it was uh, spoken by Mahatma Gandhi he says your beliefs become your thoughts your thoughts become your words your words become your actions your actions become your habits your habits become your values your values become your destiny so it's just thinking about it is not enough you will have to act on it and uh, it, it's a process it's not going to happen overnight so it's all in the it's all in in, in the path that we're taking the journey our journey it will not happen one day it may take our entire lifetime but the thing is you can't just stay stagnated you can't stay still you have to keep moving so we are already programmed for that success it's in us God made us with everything that we need it's just up to us to not implement it to do those things that will get us to our destiny and on our way we can't be doing it by ourselves we have to Pull others along with us so yes that's the main thing I wanted to share today is you have what you need you have everything that it takes you are enough so go out and 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 grab your dreams make them reality so I come I'll be back on um, Wednesday but before I go off I have three links in the description uh, for you one is to join my free community it's called spiritual entrepreneur goal achievers just for you know words to motivate to keep you going I have the link there for you I also have my YouTube channel um, I want it in my name not those all those n numbers and to do that I need to have at least uh, 100 subscribers and I think I'm like at 18 <laughs> so let me just put that out there for you so do join uh, or subscribe and the third thing is uh, there's a, a, a group that it's all marketing and everything that we do you know the things that we buy off the, the TV or just they market it and so if you have a business you need to know how to market it and so I'm learning about that uh, everything that you need to do is right on there so I have a link for you there too so I appreciate you joining me this morning and oh see, Marcella says yes I believe we create our destiny with what we think what we say and what we do those are words those words are so powerful yes thank you so much Ursula for sharing that with me um, Jackie good morning to you thank you for joining and um, oh I wish I could pronounce your name but it's written in a different language good morning welcome thank you for joining and uh, so you are the key to your success it's up to you fill your mind with positives surround yourself with positive minded people and if you don't know them personally you can find the information in many different um, places and it's up to you.
Thanks for joining. I will see you on Wednesday. Have a great day. Make it powerful and be blessed.